Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mobile video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to build your very own Divi Mobile menu using our Divi Mobile plugin. In this video, we're going to focus on the sub menu style section of the Divi Mobile plugin. Definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more specific details on Divi Mobile and some of its various features. But if you still find that you're stuck, definitely hit up our amazing support team and they'll help you sort out any more complex issues. With that covered, why don't we just get into it? And before we start, I just want to clear up two things that I think you should know. Divi Mobile saves the menu you build to your active theme. Therefore, if you make any changes to your active theme or your child theme or like swapping them out for something else or a different child theme, you'll need to rebuild your menu. The second thing is that due to the way that WordPress has been built, there may be times where your live preview mode does not instantly load, meaning that you might not see the changes immediately. If you find this happening, hit that publish button and reload the page and then you should see your work. Okay guys, let's get going. Okay, so to get us going, we have to go to Appearance, Customize, and then when the next page loads, we'll go to Divi Mobile, and then Submenu Style. All right, so from here, you can style your submenu however you want using the features found in the Submenu Style section. I'll scroll through them right here, and you can see there's a lot of stuff here. For this video, I want to use the Collapse Nested Style with a border at the top of 10 pixels and a width of 300 pixels. The submenu background color should be the same as my menu, and that was hashtag 303030. For the font, I want it to be white, so I'm going to put in hash FFF. And for the font size, I think I'll go with 16 pixels, and I'm going to make that center aligned. Divi Mobile allows you to add an icon into the menu item with a submenu. To find the icon you'd like to use, just click the link right here, and you'll see a page titled Complete Set and Unicode Reference Guide. Here, you'll take a look, and you'll find the code after the X. You'll copy that and paste that into the space provided. For this video, we're going to use codes number 36 and 37 for the open and closing icons. So that's it for the submenu style section. Okay, guys, just that quick note again. If your page is not showing a preview reflecting the changes we just made, definitely go ahead and publish that page again and reload it to make sure that those changes do get reflected. The changes are made, but there's a weird goof with WordPress and the way that it was coded that prevents that live preview from showing every time. Now, it's also possible that you need to preview this from a mobile device or any type of device that's not logged into the backend of your WordPress site. So again, this is just something, one of the quirks with WordPress and not actually something relating to Divi Mobile. But yeah, don't stress out, just publish again and you should be fine. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this documentation on the Divi Mobile submenu style. I hope you're well on your way to creating some awesome submenu styles with the information provided. If you do have any other questions that are not answered in this video, definitely check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com or for more complex situations, definitely contact our amazing support team and somebody will be sure to help you out as soon as they can. And with that, this is Roby. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.